This is Sports Star Podcasts. You're listening to India's greatest cricketing victories, a special series from Sports Star where we look back at some of India's most memorable wins on the cricket field. India has some fond memories of playing cricket down under. A few of those are stellar victories as well. In this episode, Vijay Lokpali catches up with veteran Indian cricketer Karsan Gavri about a particularly special victory in Melbourne in 1981. From his own performance in the game to being received at the airport by Sir Donald Bradman, making Greg Chappell his bunny and a lot more. Uh, welcome, 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 Karsan Bhai, to the Sports Star podcast. It's dedicated to the 1981 Test match at Melbourne, where you had such a fabulous uh, performance right through the series. So, to begin with, what are your memories of that series? Well, I, uh, I think you know, uh, it was the most you know the historical you know the Test match you know we played in 1881. Yeah, uh, in Australia at Melbourne, when we won, uh, the the target, you know, the, it was absolutely achievable, uh, 130 odd runs or something like that, and we got the Australian out, you know, for uh, 80 odd runs because uh, uh, you know the wicket, you know, at Melbourne played a very very big part in uh, our victory, and I think you know that was the. the only time in the history of you know uh, the cricket between australia and india uh, we squared the series in australia yeah and uh, that, i think you know there was a great achievement kare kasim bhai um they to- that was your second visit to australia 77 78 also we produced great cricket so how would you compare i mean 77 78 and then this 80 81 well you know 77 was a much you know longer series we had you know five test matches in australia you know, at that time and in uh, 80 81 we had only three test matches and uh, a lot of you know the one day games and a triangle a series and all that you know against new zealand uh, australia and india but you know the most interesting thing is i think uh, uh, probably we all enjoyed uh, you know the series in 77 because you know it was a much you know longer uh, a period much you know longer cricket and uh, it was so interesting that you know the first two test matches australia had won and the third and fourth one we won and the and the last one at adelaide unfortunately we lost but Uh, i think you know that uh, particular series was a very very remarkable and a historic correct as, as, same as, same as uh, 8081 because 81 we managed to square the series in the in australia uh, for the first time yes and kasan bhai you had a fabulous i mean before i go back to 1981 melbourne you two questions i want to ask one is what prompted you to become a fast bowler because you could also bowl spin very well and and your partnership with kapil you never allowed any opposition to have a 100 run partnership opening partnership yes yes well uh, uh right from beginning you know in a school days uh almost you know everyone wanted to bowl you know leg spin off spin or you know left time you know orthodox I said, why not? Uh, uh, you know, uh, what is what is the use of a new ball? And this is how yeah. I've started. You know, and and you know, coincidentally, one of the one of the final match, a school tie at my school at Virani High School in Rajkot. Just day before, you know, my captain was a fast bowler and a, and a captain, and uh, we were playing, you know, football. and uh, while playing football i mean nobody used to wear those shoes and things like that you know we were playing jaise khelte na bachpan mein nange paon yeah and uh, unfortunately you know, my, my captain and the fast bowler he got injured you know and he stole 
was so swollen that the next day he could not even walk or could not even wear a cricket boots. So our coach, you know, said, you know, who's going to uh, use the new ball? And uh, we had no new ball bowler in, in our school team. And my coach, you know, just suggested, he said, Carson, just take, you know, 8, 10, 12 uh, yards and, you know, gain ko purana karo or char paach or dalo tu. Oi char paach or ne meri puri life change kar di. Paach or dala mene paach Punch over dollar and a punch you get Leah. Now, boy, fantastic. And uh, then my coach, you know, at that time in school, he suggested, he said, Carson, I think you know, you should you know, concentrate uh, more uh, with the new ball. And this is how I picked mm -hmm. it up and I started bowling uh, with the new ball. And bowling with Kapil Dev? Well, Kapil Dev, you know, came much later in 79. Yes. Uh, this I am talking about 1966-67. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> Kapil Dev, is, is, you know, is a great you know, athlete, a great you know, all-rounder, God-gifted cricketer, and uh, whatever he did, you know, on his instinct or uh, uh, otherwise, I mean, uh, most of the time he was right. I mean, uh, if you pick, you know, the 1983 World Cup. I mean, nobody had a hopes, you know, to even qualify. And his one inning, you know, against the Zimbabwe, you know, made all the difference. And, you know, the entire picture, you know, the entire scenario changed. And he brought, you know, uh, how to win uh, this, you know, the culture into the Indian side, you know, 1983. And after 1983, Indian team has never looked back, you know, even till today. Yeah. And Kasim Bhai, your debut was against a very, very strong batting lineup of the West Indies. So, um, a little bit about your debut series, you know, bowling to all those great West Indians. Well, uh, I made my debut in 1974, December 29, you know, at uh, Eden Garden along with, you know, and Shuman Gaikwad also made the debut. And uh, uh, Tiger Patodi was the captain. And those days, we never used to have you know, team meetings as such. I mean, uh, Tiger had uh, all the plans in his head and his, and his heart. I mean, whatever he wanted to execute, he would do it you know, only on the field. And uh, as I mean, people know, Tiger was... Uh, was always been with a very few words. So whatever he did, everything happened, you know, on the field. He, you will be surprised that, you know, I and Anshuman Gaikwad made our debut at uh, Eden Garden, Calcutta. On the day of the match, match was supposed to start at 9.30 and around 8.30, you know, at the ground, when everybody is going out, you know, for a warm-up, you know, Tiger calls us, you know, two of us. He's a youngster. You guys are in the 11 and you are playing. You know, <laughs> and, you know like uh, that was, uh, we never thought that, you know, we're going to be in 11. You know, like you are not prepared, you know, mentally. You are not prepared you know, physically. And uh, he said, no, no, uh, you, are, you are playing. And uh, this is how it all started. And see, of course, you know, the playing, you know, the Ranji Trophy matches, we used to get a crowd of, you know, 10,000, 15,000, some places, you know, 20,000. But straight away, playing, you know, in a test match at Eden Garden, 100,000 people. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. it, was, it was quite scary. It was very <laughs> And, you know, uh, like, you know, you don't know. I mean, I personally felt... I don't know how it's going to go and what is going to happen. And uh, there was a big, you know, question mark. And uh, it was like a Alfred Hitchcock's film, you know, really. A big <laughs> suspense. Yes. And Kirsten, by going back to 1981, we lost the first match by an innings. 
but we came back strongly in the second where australia made 500 plus and uh, uh, mr chetan chauhan got a, a good knock and uh, sandeep patel that 174 so do you think that that innings by patel was very crucial for uh, the series for indian comeback absolutely brilliant you know apart from you know sandeep you know uh, apart from you know sandeep patel's inning you know the the way yashpal sharma also played his role so brilliantly and uh, i mean hats off to them uh, and sandeep patel was very courageous uh, you know after he got hit in sydney uh, by uh, lenny pasco and the next test match in adelaide he scored you know 175 i think you know he was very brave and he started wearing you know helmet earlier uh, uh, he never he never wore you know helmet and uh, yeah. you know every uh, you know uh, wearing a helmet you know when the all these you know the equipments are available you know uh, one should wear and you know in fact in uh, before you know sydney and even earlier test matches sunil gavaskar has suggested you know to sandeep patel he said patla and now mm. all you know the equipments are available please wear them and be safe and you know probably you know at that time sandeep patel was little you know overconfident he said he said oh, who's going to hit me on my head mm. and uh, i mean uh, the way he was uh, the way he was hit in sydney by lenny pasco and it was like you know hum log wo nariyal phodte hain ha you know that kind of uh, noise came you know oh. why i'm saying noise came because i was a non striker okay i was oh. i was right there uh, at the other end and when he got hit and it was a big crack you know i thought you know this guy is going to be in a big big time trouble but uh, fortunately you know everything went off well and uh, by the grace of god you know he is fine uh even now he is uh, he just okay <laughs> and god you know he didn't uh have forget have forgotten all the memories <laughs> yes and i i believe don bradman came to compliment him also in the dressing room yes he did yes yeah because you yeah. know red light uh, whenever uh, uh, there was a test match or any kind of a uh, big match sir don Brad- bradman would definitely visit there visit the players come to the dressing room talk to everyone especially the manager and the captain and uh, say hello to all the players and uh, i think you know that was the the tradition of uh, sir don bradman you know uh, forget about the adelaide uh, a cricket ground uh, dressing room he used to visit but he used to come to the airport oh he used to come to the airport and receive the teams that was a very big you know uh, surprise to us you know irrespective whether any national team whether it's say india pakistan or australia or england or any team you know he would come to the airport and receive the teams and i i still very instinctively i remember i went to australia first time in my life in a uh, 60 uh 68 69 as a school boy you know indian school boy hmm. and uh, raja mukherjee was the captain and uh lakshman singh bharat kundran rakesh tandon brijesh patel mohind ramanath we were a school boy team hem adhikari hmm. was the uh, the manager and uh, professor changadkar was the uh, second you know official and uh, you know to our surprise school team sir dot redman came to the airport to receive us fantastic fantastic uh, un- unbelievable really yeah and yeah. we were so excited to see him we took the pictures and photographs i i still have them with me okay yeah and gasan bhai back to 1981 melbourne uh, we were under pressure and uh, because uh, we had to best we could have squared the series which we did but you got greg chapel out in both the innings 
So first innings was caught behind. How much do you remember of that uh, uh, dismissal? Well, I, I remember, you know, very distinctly, uh, uh, particularly in the second inning when they were chasing a very small target to win. Yeah. And the previous day, uh, you know, in our very small uh, team meeting, you know, Sunil Gavaskar had said, he said, uh, Kadu, if you are bowling and uh, Greg Chappell comes in, the first ball has to be a bouncer. Mm-hmm. You know, it just uh, you know, take him on a, on a back foot. So I said, yes, you are fine. And uh, unfortunately, you know, the couple there was not on the field, you know, on the, on the fourth day. And uh, he had some uh, kind of, you know, injury. And then a fifth day, he came along. And uh, on the fourth day, uh, Australia were three wickets down. Because uh, I had taken, you know, John Dyson uh, yeah. caught behind. And then uh, next ball, uh, Greg Chappell came in. I tried to ball a bouncer. But, you know, that bouncer never came up because, you know, the, the Melbourne pitch, mm-hmm. you know, the wicket. Had a big cracks, you know, big cracks everywhere, and uh, you know the the delivery. I tried to ball a bouncer, but ball never came up. And you know Greg Chappell always thought, you know, it's going to be a short delivery. And it was a short delivery, but you know it kept very low, and mm-hmm. his leg stump was, uh, uh, I mean, it was exposed, mm-hmm. and he was clean bowled in our first ball. And uh, after that, you know, uh, the entire scene, you know, really changed. And, you know, Dilip Doshi was a very instrumental in taking wicket. Uh, and then Kapil Dev came on the fifth day and he just ran through the side because it was a very difficult uh, to score runs on that particular wicket because, you know, uh, you know, the pitch was cracks, you know, everywhere. So, uh, Karsan Bhai, would you say, was that the best moment of your career or would you pick any other moment? No, I think, you know, the Melbourne Test match was uh, was the peak of uh, my career. And then uh, once more, again, you know, when, when the Pakistan team came over to India, yeah. after we visited in 70, 79 and immediately uh, they were here, you know, five Test matches. And when we beat them in India... I think uh, those were the the great uh, moments uh, in my cricketing career. Correct, correct. And 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 Karsan Bhai, if you, if you have to pick one one wicket which you cherish, you I mean, uh, Greg Chapel, yes. Or would that be the wicket you would remember the dismissal, or is there any other dismissal, any other great batsman? I do remember uh, when I got you know Kalicharan out in Bangalore. You know, I mean, Kalicharan was like a uh, a run machine, yeah. And uh, in that particular series, you know, he got a lot of runs. And uh, you know, the time I got him out, uh, that is very, you know, I mean, still it comes in my picture. And when you get a wicket like you know Jeffrey Boycott or David Carr or you know Viv Richards or Javed Miandad, they are very uh, special uh, wickets because there is a tag, you know, and there is a prize, you know, they are the prize wickets. So, uh, you know, the name I've said, I've taken uh, the wickets, you know, of all these uh, are great players. And yeah. I've, uh, I've, I've cherished, you know, those, those wickets. Right. And Kasambai, we always wanted to ask you, did you ignore your batting? Because there was a lot of pressure on you as a bowler. Well, I, I never really ignored, you know, my batting. I... Uh, I knew that, you know, I'm capable of scoring, you know, a few runs. But, you know, of course, uh, uh, the kind of, you know, the number I was given, like, you know, 7, 8 and all that. Uh, I had uh, very little opportunity uh, to score runs. Because, you know, after me, it was always like, you know, Vishen Bedi, Prasanna and Chandrasekhar. Uh, like, you know, as, as you call, you know, a tailender. And they were, uh, I, I mean, I don't mean to say that, you know, they were, they were terrible or a bad batsman, but uh, they were not, you know, capable of, capable of you know, scoring runs. But, uh, in one game, 
uh, uh, Bishan Bedi score, you know, 50. And that was, uh, that was absolutely amazing innings I, I saw in a test match. You know, Bishan Bedi coming at number 10 and scoring 50. You yeah. were, I think it was brilliant. Yes, you know, you can you can uh, uh, a little bit uh, 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 rely on Prasanna. He could stay at the wicket, you know. Forget about the stroke making and all that, but you know he can give you a stand. But uh, you know, like you know me, uh, Prasanna, Chandrasekhar, and Vishen Bedi, you know, people always thought they you know it's a it's a long tail. Yeah, and just couple couple of questions more, Kasim. Bhai. one is. Uh, is it a fact that you were instrumental in pushing Shubman Gill at a zonal camp in Mahol, Mohali? Yes. Uh, so what did you see yes. in him? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, I was I was working, you know, with BCCI uh, as a, a fast bowling coach at uh, Mahali Chandigarh, and uh, one day, uh, it just uh, a little little bit of a rain, you know, drizzling. So, you know, uh, from our practice area, we went, you know, just across the road and there is another big ground there uh, at, uh, at Maoli. Yeah. And we, you know, I saw this young guy uh, and playing so well. Uh, and then I just, you know, asked my, uh, the assistant coach, you know, uh, the Puri. Yeah. I said, Puri, I know who the guy is. So he uh, the age, you know, age of the boundary line. Hmm. So, उसी आदमी को मैंने पूछा है ये लड़का कौन है? वो बोला कि नहीं ये मेरा ही लड़का है। तो मैंने उसको कि वो यहाँ पर खेल रहा है। कल से आप उसको हमारे यहाँ पर लेके आओ और हमारी नेट के अंदर उसको बैटिंग करने दो। उसको वहाँ पर आधा घंटा, पौना घंटा, एक घंटा हमारे फास्� we used to call a batsman, you know, from uh, Punjab Cricket Association, and mm -hmm. Sushit Kapoor was was a great help, you know, in that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we called, you know, Subram Gill, you know, next day. He came over, and uh, we asked, you know, all our fast bowlers to bowl very normal, like with the same kind of a pace and everything. And the way he faced everyone, I think it was it was absolutely brilliant, and. Uh, we could see he had the spark. Hmm. He had uh, he had that you know ability uh, to graduate in himself, you know, into a bigger thing. And uh, hmm. I mean, he kept on working hard. And I uh, recommended his name to Sushil Kapoor. I said, "Yeah, आप आप अपने अपने पंजाब टीम में इसको अंडर फोर्टीन में डालो. ये बहुत आगे जाएगा ये लड़का." Or, you know, coincidentally, even the selector uh, got convinced hmm. and they put, you know, Subram Gill in under 14 team and then under 16. And then uh, uh, he has never looked back, you know, after that. Correct. And Kasim Bhai, from the time you started trying to uh, remove the shine of the new ball, today we have so many fast bowlers. Why? How? Well, I think, you know, it's a great news, you know, for Indian cricket, because earlier we never used to have fast bowlers. You know, again, uh, Purana Karne ki liye, humko pehle se bol diya jata tha, ke bhai, aapko ho ya teen or se zada nio ho milega. Tiger used to tell us, you know, ke bhai, Kolkata test match mein, aapko do or milega, saamne se Madan Lal, aapko do or milega, or, or, wo time mein aise rules bhi nahi the. जैसे फरुख इंजीनियर के पास आया फरुख इंजीनियर यूज्ड टू गिव इट टू द फर्स्ट लेग एंड टू द बॉलर दे यूज्ड टू रोल इट डाउन यू नो यू नो रोल इट डाउन सो दैट यू नो द द न्यू बॉल गेट्स एन ओल्डर क्विकली यस दैट वाज द 
uh, that was the uh, scenario, you know, at that time. But yes. now, today, you know, like uh, India creating, you know, this MRF, you know, NCA, you know, the National Cricket Academy. I mean, uh, the, the kind of, you know, job, you know, they are doing is absolutely brilliant. And I personally feel, you know, at, at all level, hmm. you know, under 16, under 19, you know, Ranji Trophy, and then the, the kind of, you know, the structure, you know, the BCCI has uh, created, there is, there, is no, there is no structure in the world like India. And, you know, hmm. in our pipeline, uh, we will never be short of, you know, cricketers at any level. Yeah. And Kasan Bhai, you had such a fantastic female fan following. Did you ever not get tempted to act in cinema? No. Uh, well, uh, that was uh, that was not my cup of tea. First of all, hmm. I, I love to watch you know, cinema. In fact, I was offered hmm. uh, a couple of films. But uh, when you don't know anything, you know, about the, the craft yeah. and... Uh, I never wanted to make myself full uh, coming on the silver screen. Right, right. And Kasan, by life after giving up, uh, stop playing cricket, I mean, how has been your association with the game? Uh, and uh, what do you do nowadays? And where are you based? Are you in Rajkot you know, or Mumbai? I, I personally, I think a big thank you uh, to uh, BCCI you know, for looking after uh, all the all the cricketers, especially the past one, you know, the, the former cricketers in, uh, in many respects, whether, you know, somebody gets ill or, you know, uh, like, you know, their monthly pension and all that. Mm -hmm. I think BCCI is doing a great job. They're doing a wonderful job, you know, for all, all the, uh, the former cricketers. And uh, even... Uh, like, you know, after I retired, I, I kept on, you know, coaching uh, the teams like, you know, Mumbai Ranji Trophy, you know, for two, three years. Then I went to Bengal, you know, for a couple of years. Then mm -hmm. I went to Tripura, you know, for a couple of years. Then uh, in 2019, just about two years ago, I was with uh, Saurashtra team. And uh, fortunately, we, we won the championship. Yes. And uh, I think... Uh, Whatever the stint you know, I did, you know, it was quite uh, satisfactory and uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. And, and where are you based now, Kasim Bhai? Rajkot or Mumbai? I, or? No, 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 no. I always lived in Mumbai for it's yeah. almost 50 years now. I yeah. always lived in Mumbai. I mean, yeah. Rajkot uh, is, uh, of course, my birthplace. I keep going there, visiting my cousins. Uh, we have a house there, but nobody stays there. But I, I keep, you know, visiting Rajkot uh, quite often, yeah. And final question, would you have loved playing the T20? Because you would have been a fantastic hit as a T20 well, player. I, I, would have, I, I think, you know, I would have really loved, you know, playing 2020. Not only me, in, in my era cricketers, hmm. like, you know, Kapil Dev or Roger Bini or, you know, Sandeep Patel, uh, they, would, they would have been a big stars, you know, really. But, you know, see, boss, uh, one has to go with the flow. One has to go with the time. Uh, there, there are no complaints. You know, whatever is written in your destiny, you know, uh, and the time you played, I mean, I, I, I cherished, I enjoyed it. I, I still love the game. And I watch everything, you know, like, you know, recent, I mean, today's time, mm -hmm. I've been watching, you know, under 19 uh, World Cup, which is happening in uh, in West Indies, our young guys, they are doing extremely well. And I hope, you know, they beat England in the finals. Yes, yes. And Kasim Bhai, uh, I'm sorry, I'm asking you one more question. Um, you have played with Gavaskar and Vishwanath. I mean, Mr. Gavaskar and Mr. Vishwanath, one of the great, I mean, the greatest, among the greatest, right? So how, yeah. how do you look at them? I mean, what, what is it that, that you attracted you uh, uh, to watch uh, Mr. Gavaskar's batting and Mr. Vishwanath's batting? Well, you know, it's very, very uh, difficult to, uh, to compare. Hmm. 
but there were two different uh, kind of players sunil gavaskar with his uh, you know concentration you know, with his uh, uh, application you know with his you know all kind of uh, you know staying power you know to occupy the crease uh, you know it was it was uh, a totally different he was definitely a world class player but at the same time gr vishwanath was uh, was an artistic player and uh, he will uh, never be afraid you know playing shots he was a stroke maker i mean uh, not like gavaskar like or uh, jeffrey boycott you know playing took 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 i mean yeah so gr vishwanath you know every ball there is a run i mean uh, there are hardly any any dot balls like you know when you look at it, uh the pakistan you know zaid abbas i mean uh, there are hardly any any dot balls like vishwanath yeah. you know they are they are always every single delivery they are looking for runs but you know the gavaskar uh, you know the technique his temperament his staying power and his dedication his application everything was so different and uh, it is very difficult uh, to compare you know these two batsmen and they were both of them they were they were uh, on top of the uh, the world cricket right uh thank you kasan bhai thank you very very much for sparing time and uh, uh um, i mean uh, we, uh, we be, you have always been kind for uh, the hindu and the sports star so once again thank you very very much here's all the very best to you and you have a great uh, year you know 2022 a very very happy one and the healthy one thank you for listening to this special episode of india's greatest cricketing wins our two previous episodes featuring farooq engineer and cd gopinath are available to listen on all major podcast platforms do make sure to check those out as well subscribe to match point paradox so you don't miss a single episode of this series and all our regular cricket programming Until another episode where we turn to yet another glorious page in India's cricketing history goodbye and take care